People believe that money is a tool. Well, they're wrong. Money is the master. The better you serve it, the better it treats you. I'm Annette Insdorf, director of undergraduate film studies at Columbia University and a lifelong fan of the work of Costa Gavras. So it is a particular honor for me to be able to interview you for the audience here about Capital as well as your career. What drew you to Le Capital? I was trying to find a story to make a movie about money. How money it became little by little a kind of religion for our societies. And then I read a book called The Total Capitalism by Jean Pierre Levade, who used to be the president of Crédit Lyonnais. It's a person who is the main character of the book. I think probably someone he didn't like very much. <laughs> and he's punished, of course. So I liked the book up until a certain moment. And then I said, the last part, it's not real. How many bankers you see going to prison? The shareholders are fierce and they're waiting. Time for you to start firing people. Is that a threat? You lose our backing, Mark, and your little French friends will drop you. Gad Elmaleh, he's more of a stand-up comedian, really, right. than an actor. Did you feel that the inherent sort of comic qualities might counterbalance the way that Mark was emerging on the page? I was looking for a kind of different actor. I didn't know Gad Elmaleh. I have seen him in the theater, because he does extraordinary one-man show. So I asked him if he would like to do something completely different from, from what he has done. He accepted, and I was very happy, because we were able to create a kind of character, both of working, both of us, a character who doesn't exist. What's going on? The Americans want to get out of the license. The French want to get out of the and my collaborators want to get out of the plan. I tried to, to not make him really the, the bad guy, really the monster. His ambition pushed him up to, the, to, the, to be a king, as a matter of fact, because he's a king. And he can have all the women he would like to have, and he can have all the money and all the... And essentially what is interesting him is the power, which is a very man's problem. We play in mode. It's a game. The two, perhaps, shall we say, most noble characters in the film happen to be female, Maud yes. and his wife. On the other hand, you also have a female character who is a bit of a siren, and we're not sure what her agenda is, namely Nassim. Three of these women, women who are good women, are, for me, are the good characters in the movie. Each one completely different from the others. And even Nassim, she ends up with his ambition, which is to be up there, to be the strongest. I think the redemption, or the happy end, as some people say, it becomes a kind of uh, easy thing in, uh, for the cinema. Everything, every moment, everything, every story ends up with a happy end. It's not life. Sometimes life ends up with no happy end. Je suis votre Robin des Bois moderne. <laughs> Nous allons continuer de prendre aux pauvres pour donner aux riches. What then is a viewer supposed to take with him or her at the end? What can we do as good spectators and as good citizens? I think the, the role of the cinema today is to, to show to the audience what is hidden in our society because they don't have another way to see it. Igmar Bergman used to say for his movies, I would like to entertain with my movies, to have them there, sit in the theater, and then on the way back to think about. I think that can be the role of a movie.